Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are in chapter 2 and continuing ahead with the next topic here that is 2.7 API testing. Now API testing is actually a broad thing to discuss but here we are just talking in terms of a non-functional perspective in order to make sure that what kind of responsibility a technical test analyst must have and API testing is one of the techniques to make sure that the web services are handled very well. So let's talk a little more about that in this tutorial. So here we won't have any kind of calculation based approach rather it will be more of a theoretical driven topic and the question would be also similar to that and we would like to cover some of the questions during the sample question on this particular technique when it comes to the next episode when I talk about the sample questions. But yes of course I would like to tell some of the basic and important things when it comes to API it stands for application programming interface where generally it is the middleware between the front end and the back end of the application. It acts like an interface between the front end and back end. Also does a lot of validation when it comes to user queries or user interaction to the application and not all the requests are being sent to the server or the back end. So yes, the web services play a very vital role when it comes to uh, having a full-fledged and proper interactions in order to send the load or request or number of requests or hits per second to the server. So there are lots of detailed matter which you can actually explore about to understand in API testing and uh, that would be covered in a different certification rather but not here. Here we are just talking about a basic interaction and understanding of what exactly API testing is and how it can be used as a technique and what kind of responsibilities does a technical test analyst holds when it comes to API testing. So API testing is a type of testing rather than a technique in certain aspects. API testing is quite similar to testing a graphical user interface also. So yes, we do have a lot of approaches. Sometimes API testing is directly tested using SOAP UI and Postman. Sometimes these APIs are helpful to do the performance testing of the application and check that how exactly the system behaves when it is exposed to different types of scenarios, different number of people and performing various different activities either in interval or simultaneously. Negative testing is often crucial when dealing with APIs. Programmers who use API to access real services external to their own code may try to use API interfaces in ways for which they are not intended to. So yes, we always try with a lot of negative scenarios to make sure that what if a user tries to do something other than expected, does it behave, behave weird or maybe does not respond to your queries at that point of time. So it would be really important more than the positive, you look into the negative side and make sure that everything is happening as per the expectation and nothing happens beyond that. Combinatorial testing of many different interfaces may be required because APIs are often used in conjunction with other APIs. Yes, of course, when you talk about integrating third-party softwares or talking about integrating a payment gateway to the uh, uh, online shopping cart or online shopping applications, then of course, online shopping application would have their own set of APIs and the payment gateway has a third party software again has set of APIs. Now when it comes to the integration of such things, the conjunction becomes really important for this team to make a rest set of, like to test and make sure that these things are, are happy with each other and not having any kind of com uh, conflict or compatibility issues. APIs also frequently are loosely coupled that means they are not so close by binded together. They might have different several interaction between them, resulting in very real possibility of lost transactions or timing glitches. This necessity through testing or the recovery and retry mechanism as well. So that's where like if you sometimes you know, see that the pages are taking a little longer to load, then probably they are busy interacting with other APIs to re-trigger the mechanism and make sure that the uh, request is being processed. So yeah, there's a lot of such things which happens as a part of API at the back end, which probably being a front end user, you never know that how many things are working behind the screen. Further moving to a little more about what kind of applicability API testing may have, it is becoming more important for testing systems 
of systems as the individual systems become distributed or use remote processing as a way of offloading some work to the other processor. So distributing of the work can also be done with help of APIs. You may have certain API functions written specially to distribute the load when there are many people or many users simultaneously working on your application. For example, operating system calls, service oriented architectures, the SOAP concept comes from here and uh, RPC that is remote control, remote pr procedure calls and of course the web services. Software containerization result in the division of software program into several containers which communicate with each other using mechanism such as those listed above. API testing should also target these interfaces. So not only just limited to a particular interface between the front end and back end, we do have interaction with a lot many other par parameters of an application. It might be the server, it might be the uh, controls, it might be the validation, it might be about the web services or accepting a request at any point of time, distributing the request to different uh, processors. Yeah, yes, there's a lot of things to explore. Limitation includes uh, that testing an API directly usually requires a technical test analyst to use specialized tool that means manually it would be quite difficult so you would need a support of testing tool in order to organize and conduct api testing because there is typically no direct graphical interface associated with uh, apis it's more of a kind of you know api functions like a code is what you basically interact with and this tool will be very helpful to set up the initial environment, marshal the data, invoke the APIs and determine the results as well. So that's really more important to understand from the API testing concept. And yes, it is obviously conducted as a level as well. And that would be really important if you know a little more in depth about API testing. But yes, the question will be straightforward from these points, what we have discussed today in this tutorial and may probably not go around beyond that. So you must just uh, have a good understanding of what exactly API testing is and that should do more than enough for you during the examination. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We have one more topic to go from this chapter too. So I'll be getting back to you again tomorrow with the last tutorial of this chapter and following that we will look into the sample questions of this chapter. Till then keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context team. Thanks for watching the video and happy learning.